guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. For me, it is September 20th, and that means so many different things. Area 51 raid, iPhones and Apple Watches get delivered today, but more than just that, as you can probably already tell by the title, the Nintendo Switch Lite is out, and I am super excited about that. But before we get into that, I want to tell you the story about how the Nintendo Switch Lite came into my life. So I am getting ready to leave for CVX Lite and using this camera, I wanted to go to Best Buy and get some cleaning stuff. So I took Calvin to Best Buy with me and we picked up two different cleaning kits for this very camera right here because obviously we wanna take some pictures while we're at CVX Lite with friends and viewers, you guys. So I got these two different things. And while we were there, Calvin was looking around at some toys and he found some really cool Hot Wheels. These guys right here, they were only five bucks and because they're Rocket League, I was like, this is great, let's get them. And we walked out of the store with just these three things. Now, being that today is iPhone delivery day, as we were walking out, I thought, crap, I need a new pop socket because it's gonna be hard to take this one off and transfer it to the new one and keep it sticky. And I thought, Ellie needs one. She drops her phone all of the time. So I walked over, we went back to Best Buy, we walked in, walked over the pop sockets. So I grabbed myself this pop socket right here. And for Ellie, she's getting the gold iPhone. I got this one for her too, because it's gold and shiny and pretty. But then while I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, look at what else pop socket makes. They make a wallet thing for the back of your phone. I am notorious for always losing my wallet or leaving my wallet at home. So I thought I never lose my phone. I might as well have my wallet on my phone. So I grabbed this too. And then we started to walk out and then something caught Calvin's eye. He was walking around, saw some other cool toys. I think it was like Ryan's toy review. And as that was happening, someone was wheeling out a cart and on this cart, were all of the new Nintendo Switch Lite consoles. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, Nintendo Switch Lite. That also means Link's Awakening is coming out. Link's Awakening is a game that I loved as a kid and I really want to do the remake that they have and play it with Jackson and Calvin because I knew that because I know they would love it. I got a little greedy and then I picked up the Nintendo Switch Lite for myself. Now, Jackson and Calvin have been playing my Nintendo Switch a lot, and one of the big issues that I've run into on the Nintendo Switch is drifting. Now, if you don't know what drifting is, it's where you have the joysticks, and if you're not pressing them at all, the character will move, the sel item selection will move, the controller has a mind of its own because it's broken or something on the inside isn't sitting properly. It's hard to fix. In fact, more often than not, what you have to do is buy new Joy-Cons. So I wanted to get the Nintendo Switch Lite to see if that issue is fixed because you cannot replace the Joy-Cons on this. It's a fixed controller here. So I figured let's open it up. Let's see how it feels in our hands. And I'd love to hear from you about it as well. So let's get right into the opening. I tried to tell that story as quick as I possibly could. If you guys remember, I actually did a Nintendo Switch uh, unboxing with Jerry Rig, my buddy Zach. We did a live video is when YouTube first started having live video. Um, so move that out of the way. And here it is. They have three different colors that at least that I'm aware of. There's teal, yellow, and black. And I asked Calvin, I said, what do you think, teal or black? and he chose black, I flipped a coin, it was also black, so we went with black. I think like it's a little more discreet as well. Um, it's not so vibrant and eye-catching, so maybe it'll be a little bit better for me. Now, judging the screen size based on the console, it feels like the screen is really big for how the entire um, volume of the, the Switch Lite. It definitely feels smaller than the Switch, obviously because it is smaller. And then one noticeable difference is you have a original D-pad right here instead of the four buttons. The reason why you have the four buttons on um, the Nintendo Switch is because when you do take them off, you can use it as a controller like this. But you can't do that with this one, so they have a, a regular D-pad. And that's gonna make playing um, the online things like the regular Nintendo, the Super Nintendo feel more authentic when you have these buttons right here. Let's put this off to the side for just a second, see what else is inside the box. And it looks like we just have 
the charging cable. Now this is the exact same charging cable. It's a USB-C connection, um, the same one that you would get in the box. So they are interchangeable. You can use other USB-C cables. They might just charge at a different rate depending on your adapter. And that's everything in the box. You do have a micro SD card slot, which I highly recommend. I download pretty much all of my games. I only have a few cartridges. And then um, you do have a headphone jack and then a place for your game cards there. Overall, it feels a little more matte texture on the back and I kind of like it. It feels a little more grippy um, than I normally am used to with the Nintendo Switch. I like it. Let's see if there's any charge in it. Oh, look at that. Now, what I'm imagining that I'm going to be doing with this is this will be my console. And the kids will be able to go use the Nintendo Switch on the TV and, you know, wherever they go. But this one is mine because I want to test the Joy-Cons and see if that has any drifting issues like the Nintendo Switch. I keep pointing this way because my Nintendo Switch is back out of the room that way. I mean, it is all the same that you would expect out of Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch. It is just in a smaller package. The battery is great. The display is awesome. Basically, it is just the same Nintendo Switch, just in a smaller package with a couple limitations. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot of people's go-to. Instead of like a 3DS, they'll grab this instead. It's $1.99, it's available now. I'll have a link to it down below if you guys wanna check it out. But my question to you is if you have the Nintendo Switch Lite, have you run into any drift issues with the joysticks. Let me know in the comments down below or on social media. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all of that will be listed down below. Thanks so much for watching the unboxing video of the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now I'm going to patiently, impatiently, wait for the iPhone and the Apple Watch to arrive at my door. Hurry up, UPS man! <sighs> oh, you guys would not believe me. <laughs> if, if you were here, you would, but guess what just came in the mail, literally seconds after I stopped recording, the doorbell rang and I had to run upstairs because Tommy is taking a nap. So maybe I'll unbox these with Ellie before we take off to CVX Live. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say, I'm in the Bali room. So this is not normally what my videos will look like, but um, I am kind of digging the pink background. So Nintendo Switch Lite, awesome, feels good, looks great, sounds great. Um, I'm excited to see what's inside here. Thanks again for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this that may or may not be six months in between. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.